Hey everyone, I'm Nato King and welcome back to Psychonauts. Last time, we made our way to the wilderness area, where anything can happen. Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, just now. In the woods. Hmm, <laughs> no. It must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write greeting cards. There was some sort of shadowy being out there. Lurking. Watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! <laughs> hey, you're that new kid, ain't you? Well, I'm doing some advanced training right now, as a matter of fact. So I don't think new kid is really a name that you want to get too used to saying. Hold on there. You're not doing Sasha Nine's advanced training that he does in his secret underground lab, are you? Hidden deep within the iron walls of the GPC, where no one can hear you screaming? Why, yes, I am. Sakes alive! Well, nice knowing you. Hey, you guys sound great! <laughs> Much obliged, partner. Hey, I brought you a new guitar pick. Look. Ah, quit fooling. That's just a button you took from the GPC across the creek. Probably radioactive. Dang, get that out of here. So, yep, we're right outside the GPC now. But there's plenty of stuff around here I want to grab along the way. Like, check out this grate here. Kind of hard to see from this angle, but there's a glass eye back there. It's one of the scavenger hunt items. Unfortunately, I can't reach through the grate to get it. There are some things that I can reach in this area, though. Cards just kind of sitting up here. I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm hiding. And I thought, oh, Nils, when will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you'd just see yourself staring back. Uh-huh. What? I mean, he'd see my new boyfriend James staring back, and he'd be furious at Nils. Who's Nils? Exactly! And anyway, there wouldn't even be a hole, because James fills my heart till sometimes I think it's gonna explode. One time, I made someone's head explode. Well, okay, maybe there's still a little hole. Actually, it happened four times. But James and I have each other now, and Nils is just gonna have to deal with it. Now they make me wear this special hat, so I don't have any more accidents. Are you even listening to me, Dogen? I hope so. Alright, that's the end of that conversation. So I think I'll go grab that arrowhead and then talk to them myself. Hey, Dogen, I got a secret for you. Nils? Not fair! Whispering is so rude. What did he tell you, Dogen? Nils. Hey, Elka. Hey, butt out! Nils? Hey, Dogen, I got a secret. Yeah, it's the same thing again. What did he. Uh... Now I just gotta get their opinion on this button. Hey, look at this button I found on Nils' bunk. It looks like it came off a girl's dress. <gasps> I don't care. Looks like it was just torn off by force. I don't care. It's got little teeth marks on it. Get that thing out of my face before I shove it in your eye socket and sew it to your brain! Nels kisses girls on the mouth and likes it. Why don't you just take off your hat and kill me, Dogen? I don't know. 
So many of the best interactions in this game are things that most people won't even find. Speaking of finding, I gotta find a good place to stand so I can get on top of these rocks and get to some of these collectibles. And that sound would be a bear. I don't know why that branch that you can swing on is there, but I don't want to get any closer to that bear with only half a brain of health left. I've got half a mind to just run in the other direction and grab as much stuff as I can, if I can ever get back to the top of the slope. A couple of cards are certainly good. And after missing that jump, I'm not going to make the effort for just one arrowhead. There are some rocks I need to climb over here, though, and we see one of the more eccentric students, which is saying a heck of a lot. That looks like fun. It's work. I'm testing a low-orbit space plane design. How's the testing going? Not now, Raz. Hey, look, Chloe. I found a tiny red spaceship. Nice fake Trinaxian cruiser, Raz. But if you'd done even the most basic research, you'd know that real Trinaxian cruisers have six viewports on top, not four. Well, I guess you just haven't seen this year's Trinaxian cruiser, then. The Trinaxian galaxy exploded 400 years ago. Oh my god. This must be really valuable, then. Hey, look, Chloe. Yeah, people don't often have more than one thing to say about any given subject, but it never hurts to check. There's this sort of hidden path off in this direction. I'm amazed I managed to make that. And it's now, got a bunch of stuff. Know, I don't want to lose this button. I might not get into Sasha's secret lab without it. Yeah, you can still pull up arrowheads while you're holding pretty much anything, but you'll still use the thing as well as pulling up the arrowhead. And there's a card over there under that ledge that I must have missed earlier. They hide them pretty well, but at least the game tells you how many there are in any given area, so you know whether you're missing something or not. And here's a familiar face. Excuse me, Mr. Ranger, but I'm looking for Sasha Nine's lab. Well, now, even if I knew where it was, and, and if it were down here, and even if you were very, very close to it right now, you, you shouldn't be poking around here. This forest is off limits. Now get! Excuse me, Mr. Range. This now. Hey, do you know where this button belongs? I know where it doesn't belong. It doesn't belong here in these off limit woods. Just like you. Now get. Oh, wait. Now that's from the GPC. It does belong down here in these off limit woods. Hmm. Now, but you don't. So get! Well, he won't be very helpful now, but there is a full rank-up token inside his cabin that I definitely want to get. So these rocks form a shortcut right back to where Chloe is, and then I can just take that path across and jump down onto the cabin from above. I think it's over here. Eh, missed by a bit. Alright, take two. And I got it right inside. No idea why the game slowed down a bit there. But that is a very valuable rank up. Because now we've hit rank 10, we can buy that dowsing rod from the shop. And we also earned our first psychic power once I find the real Ford Crawler so he can give it to me. And here is the GPC itself, where I'm going to submit that I've been lied to, because I certainly can hear the screaming from inside. I'm tired of listening to him. Let's help him out. Hey, who is that? Raz, is that you? It's me, Maloof. Hang on, buddy. Give me a 
sec to pop this tin can. Thanks. I thought I was gonna have to eat my own arm. What is this thing? It's a GPC, a geodesic psychoisolation chamber. Oh, man, cool. Cool? Do you have any idea what this does? Something cool? Uh, no. It's a six sensory deprivation tank, a hermetically sealed metaphysical hot box. It's solitary confinement for psychics. Nasty. And the coach locked you inside it? Nah, the staff hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Bully and dwarf accomplices should assault own size or larger only. While in cooler, perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. Hey, wait! I'm sure they'll form a mutually beneficial partnership. And I noticed a couple of cards during the cutscene, so need to go grab those. There's a lot you can do around the GPC before actually heading in, and of course, there's a bit more camp to explore. But first, it's possible to get on top of the dome by jumping on these little protrusions here, and it'll be worth another Psy card if I can manage it. And then you might notice a couple other cards and various rewards up in the branches of those trees. And there are vines on the sides of a couple of them that we can climb up. This is more excellent practice of our gymnastic ability, really putting that basic braining training to use. And for some reason I thought it would stop me before I walked off the end of that branch. More of those Dark Souls mushrooms. I mean, obviously it must be a stock sound, but I kind of wonder where the heck it came from. And that was just pathetic. There's another set of vines over here that I can use to get right back to where I was. So I can take a bit of a shortcut and skip a step or two of this process. Usually I just do the whole path all at once, but as you can probably tell, it's been a while. I'm very out of practice. Most of these branches are considered tight ropes, basically, for game mechanics purposes. So you can't fall off them, no matter what you do. This is probably the real prize of this entire traversal. Our second challenge marker from this area. And then we've just got a bit more to go on this little path here. Grab a couple more cards along the way. And I'm outside the safety of the fence, which could be difficult to deal with. As long as I don't fall, or run into the bear along the way. Yeah, I think I'm safe here. The bear is over on the far side of the GPC. There should be a couple more things over here near this exit. And the crow feather. And that's an unusual item because it's actually not part of the scavenger hunt. You might remember it didn't show up on the list if you were really, really paying attention. It's got a couple of uses and a few things you can do with it. Most of which are not going to be relevant until much, much later in the game. At which point I'm sure there's another way you can get a feather. For now, I want to see if I can get that card over there. I probably could, but I lost my footing a bit. So the obvious path is to go over to the far side of this cave, which we'll be exploring in just a second once I've gotten the card. And there's another card to grab along the way. And can I make this tricky jump? Alright, forget it. I'm not going to waste my time for one card. There are a couple of cards back there that, if I need them, I can go get them. Otherwise, we're on to the beach. The best part of pretty much any camp experience, as I'm led to believe. Too. Huh? 
No. Well, yes. I just... My family has this problem with water. It's a bunch of hooey anyway. Some old gypsy curse about how we're all supposed to die in water. If you can believe that. Oh! I thought it was about the whole thing with the brain-eating fish that walks out of the lake at night to hunt for victims. Well, see ya! Um, hey Rags. I saw you and Lily talking in the coach's class, and I was wondering, were you asking her to go with you? What? No! I'm here to train. No distractions. Excellent! Bye! Yeah, I'll go over and talk to Elton in a bit, but first I want to hit one of these birds. No particular reason, I just hate seagulls. Grew up near a beach. Spent a lot of time there and a lot of time dealing with seagulls. And over this way, got a garden with all kinds of weird plants growing in it. I don't think there's a story there, but you never know. Hey, Mr. Cruller, can I take out a canoe? Uh, Mr. Who? You will call me Admiral, son. Uh, no, you can't charter a vessel. Not without an oarsman's badge. Excuse me, Admiral? Eh? Where can I get an oarsman's badge? I'd really like to take out a canoe. I gotta get it from one of the official camp counselors. I can't have just anybody in my fleet. Excuse me, Admiral? Eh? What can I get in? Alright. One more thing to show him. Okay. Here's my horseman's badge. I'm not that blind, you little rat. Now beat it until you get the real thing. Excuse me, Admiral? Eh? What can I. I gotta. Well. You can use the feather to tickle most people, but I guess it doesn't work on the Admiral. What's that round thing up on the dock? That thing? Oh man, let me tell you about that thing. That thing is none of your stinking business! What are you guys doing? Beat it, you kid! What's that round thing up on the dock? That thing? Oh man. Mind if I scoot by? Not if you don't mind my fist scooting in your neck! <laughs> hey! Oh, no you don't! Yeah, Benny and Bobby are pretty much just standing here to block our path. There's nothing we can do with them, but it's kind of amusing to punch them and stuff. Then again, it's amusing to punch them pretty much any chance I get. And don't worry, I will. Hey, are you psychic fishing? I've read about that. Oh, I could never fish. That would be terrible. Regular people can be mean to fish, I guess, but I can't. I can hear everything the little guys are thinking. Fish think? About what? Well, normally not much, but today they're all kind of freaked. They're scared of something in the lake. Me too. Now that I know it's full of freaked out thinking fish. There's something big and scary out there, Raz. I wonder, could the old legends be true? What are you doing? I'm trying to hear them talk. Elton, ask if any of them have lost a big red button. Shh! I'm trying to hear them talk. Alright, well let's check out the water here. If we fall in, the hand comes up and tries to grab us. That's pretty much this game's answer to the whole swimming problem. But it still does allow us to make a bit of progress across the water. We can't get to most of the things we see, but we can get to this pier and grab another card. And from here I could get back to shore, but let's see what happens if we drown. 
Touch the water three times, and you come back up onto the shore, coughing and spluttering. Doesn't cost you any health, there's no real penalty for it. It's just there to make sure you don't get to some place the game doesn't want you to be. And there are occasionally times when they'll use it for a bit of challenge. I will kill one of those birds one day. Not for any particular reason, I just hate them. But over here, there's a path going up the side of the mountain, which has got another couple of collectibles. Lots of cards, fair number of arrowheads, and there's a challenge marker over on top of that rock, but I don't believe I can jump up to it at this point. Yet another one of those things to add to the list of stuff that's out of reach. But there's a scavenger hunt item, at least. And a way that I can swing up a couple branches to reach a spot where I can swing across some more branches. There are a whole bunch of them over here. And this is one of the trickier spots to get to, I think. At least at this point. Most of the jumps are natural, but this one... I don't know what it is, but it's really, really hard to make. Fortunately, there's a tree right here you can climb up and get back to the start of it and take as many tries as you need. Maybe... nope. Doesn't have to do with how far over on the branch I am. This is actually try number three. I didn't cut out any actual attempts, just trying to climb up some of the nearby trunks and jump to it. There's something over on the other side of those rocks, but there's an invisible wall. I can't get to it yet. Because I think if I were to get to the roof of the Admiral's cabin there, I'd be able to jump across to get past Bobby and Benny, and the game certainly isn't going to let me do that. So I saw a card over in this little ditch. And I'm right next to a bridge that'll take me back to the main cabin area, which is where I want to go. And as you can see, the path below me right there leads straight back to the GPC. So the areas of camp are pretty interconnected for the most part. I forgot to show anybody inside the lodge my button. Hey, just pretend this is a lighter. It's red. Pretty inspiring, eh? Milka still disappears when I get close. It's a clue to the location of his secret lab. What can I buy with this button? We only take our heads here, kid. 100% pure Sartanium arrowheads, squeezed from the ground like magical pimples popped out of Mother Earth's own back. Ew. Well, let's go ahead and buy that dowsing rod. Anything new in the store? Take a look. Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean up now with that. Now that dowsing rod will help you find arrowheads that are buried deep. I'll take it. Alrighty then. What else can I do you for? And I'll spend the rest of my money on Psy Cores. Excellent choice. You need a what bunch. It's for? almost impossible to buy too many. Excellent choice. What else can I'll I do you it. for? Excellent choice. What else can I do you for? I'll take it. Alrighty then. As it is, I still am nine ranks short of twenty. I'm gonna need a lot of ranks, and that's gonna require a lot of cores. So join me next time for fun with that dowsing rod we just picked up, and our journey into another mental world. Alright, go get more airheads and come on back. Support your local merchants.